Whoa! Did you guys see SpongeBob put his finger through his ear and then come to the other side? That was crazy. And it's what's going on, everybody. My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last episode, we started Kelp Forest and we complete the first area with plenty of trouble. And this episode. We're gonna start off with an area that's gonna be even more troublesome. Oh god, this puzzle was the bane of my existence as a children's. Okay, well, we have two options here. We can either jump across to Mr. Krabs or we can jump down here. Let's jump down here! Yellow swags! I got all the yellow swags. Oh, wait, does this just bounce me all the way back? No, it doesn't. Well then, okay, well, let's start by going this way, I guess. I don't remember this layout of this place exactly. I know we can kill this guy. Why do some of these guys seem to take two hits and others seem to take three? Maybe it's like two with a bubble bowl and... Oh, apparently there's a cat. Oh, right here. I was like, where the heck is a camper I apparently just found? Okay, he doesn't seem concerned at all that he's lost. He's just smelling his armpit. Just smelling his armpit and just looking at me like, oh, What's up, dude? I don't know, bro. What about you, bro? Yeah, man. Oh, God, we lost. Wait, did we go this way? Yeah, we came this way. Oh, we can go right here. I see. Now that's right! Apparently. Okay. Oh, hello. Ah, I believe that there is a secret. Oh, no, it's, no, there's not. There's this. God dang it. Ah, go back. And there's the other boxes right here. Weird. And what the heck does this do? Press button to restore, set the stone key. You're like, why would you want to do that? Well, come talk to Mr. Crab. We can't do it as SpongeBob. I'm not going to bother since there's really no point. But yeah, this is where Mr. Crab is in the entrance to the levels right over there, I believe. But we can go this way. Um, do we want to do this as SpongeBob, though? I don't remember. I remember. Um, I believe. I know there's a sock around one of these edges here. I don't know which one it is. Wow, that guy didn't see me somehow. I'm freaking magic. I'm like Houdini, disappearing. What's this do? Ah. Well, that'll be helpful. And I think one of my major issues for this level is to solve right there by accident. Yeah. Is that the sock? Oh, there it is right there. Hello, sock. I don't remember how many are here, to be honest. Well, actually, there should be... Wait, hold on a second here. I know there's one... Okay, let's see. There's two... That means there should be one more in this area somewhere. There's some quick math. Oh! Okay. Oh my good lord, I'm so confused. I think there might be one this way. Can we go this way? It doesn't look like it. Oh yes, we can we go this way. Oh god, you need to leave, sir. This place is so confusing and I'm I'm actually getting lost, which is weird. Oh yeah, we can't do this. Can we do this? Ah, ah we can. Alright, what's this do? Why not? I mean, let's just why not just make this as confusing for me as freaking possible? Just why not? That sounds like great fun to me. Oh, okay, that's for SpongeBob. I'm glad I'm here as SpongeBob then. Aha, I see you, camper. Yeah, one more left, and I think the one left is not in this area. I if I do recall correctly. I think I'm pretty sure it's not in this area. So we don't have to worry about finding any more campers here. Alright. Let's -a go. Oh boy, that's gonna be a hard jump to make. Uh, 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 whew. Okay, there we go. We did it somehow using my magic. Oh, good. do we have to go over here, as Patrick? Ah, I know where the last sock is. I'm going the right. Whoa! I hit that Arf dog thing into him. Oh boy! Oh boy! I'm on his hat. Hat. What? You can ground pound him to death. That's awesome. Um. Scared to jump on there, actually. Well, you, where do you go? Oh God! Oh, oh! It's like, oh great, that's not gonna do anything. There's not. It's weird because there's nothing really over here besides some shiny objects. Look at a sock. Like you don't get anything for collecting the shiny objects or anything. I think that's a little just shiny objects. So it's like you kind of gypped out of this one because there's no point. Oh God! Okay, I'm just, as long as you don't hit me off the ledge, I'm okay with you. Okay, and if you look carefully, you'll see there's actually a golden sock this way. Yeah, it was on the screen for a brief moment there. I don't know if you guys saw. Uh -huh. Continue to jump. Jump in! Oh. 
Wait. Yes, fresh like a spring breeze. There we go. Five more socks left in the game, guys. And then we'll be done it forever. Forever! What? Somebody... Why? Why is that there? That's just like a kill yourself fair spot. I thought maybe someone was going to save me. Where does this put me? Oh, it put me right here. That's weird. Oh, maybe it's for that? Well, where the heck do we go from here? Hello? Oh, right there. Well, is there any point to this? Well, I guess that just leaves me right here. That's weird. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Uh, thankfully, there's leaves that grow on cliff sides here. Aw, oh, crap. I, I just wanted to show you guys the leaves growing on the side of the cliff sides. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Oh, but see, like right here, that's growing out of a cliff. There's not attached to a tree or anything. It's growing outside of a cliff. Oh, I thought that killed you, but nope. Okay. Now. So this just no oh, okay, but that that's the beginning right there. So I just put it right here. And there is one last thing we could do. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a golden spatula right there. I don't remember how to get that one. I'm sure we'll come across how to get it eventually. Uh, uh, yeah. It's weird how some of the robots respond and others don't. Like Arf doesn't respond, the sleepy do the sleepy time robots I think they do actually. Weird. Aha, there's a stone kiki up here. Got receipts. Receipts it. So we gotta wanna keep in mind where these actually are. Ah, uh, uh, I can't make that. But now I've taken care of the duplication. We're not, we're not gonna have to worry about this guy anymore. Oh, there's a third one right there. So we have Lenore and all three are. I'm gonna bump my mic. Um, what? Oh, my controller stopped working there for a second. That was weird. Alright, let's see what Mr. Krabs has to say. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick! I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be ah. customers in there. I saw three tikis what? scattered around Why? this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Yeah, that sounds very difficult. That sounds very difficult. Can I try? Nope. Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden wow. spatula up there That's for you rude. if you succeed. Oh okay. boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. So I think there's actually two ways to do this. One's the correct way of actually finding and collecting all three. I think, though, you can do it like this, where you just stack them. You can find only you, or you only have to find two of them if you really want to. Anyways, this is what, this is what pained me as a child. So I would jump on this leaf, and I'd be like, I would just try to jump over this ledge and make it to the next ledge, but I didn't know you could make this leaf respond. Like, this leaf wouldn't have come before, and the, the way you get it to come is by hitting that, ah, uh, that switch as, I guess you hit it as fun as well. But you can't actually, can you not? I thought you could. Oh, great, we can't pick this up anymore, though, can we? Oh, no! Oh, we can, oh, we can do this, though. We can make this one respond. There we go. Let's, I want to try this now, because I heard someone say that this is how they did this as a child because they got sick of trying to find the third key. Can we do it? Oh, we can! That's hilarious! Okay, we're not going to do that because that's cheaty. Right, that's that's freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could do that. Should have been more obvious, but... Yeah, so you grab this. And as you would imagine, if you die, you have to redo this entire thing over again because all the TVs respond where they're supposed to go. So we have to go find the third one now. Have to go on a mission. Oh god. We have to go over there. Herm. <gasps> yeah, but no! <laughs> oh! Hi ho, silver away! Go, go, go! Oh my good lord, this is scary. Is that the only one to make it to? Oh, uh, is this solid? Is this a solid object? I don't freaking know. Uh, then there's a sleepy time robot over here. What a freaking butthead. All right, we can sneak past him. Thankfully, we have to make it to that other Tuki. Tuki, we have to make it to the other Tuki. Oh my god, that's scary. Uh, but SpongeBob was a bit more lenient because you could have your have your. Uh, I was calling it a jellyfish wand for the first little while, but no, it's actually um, a bubble wand. Duh, should figure that out. You know, use bubbles the entire game. But with SpongeBob, you can actually use your B attack to get you a bit farther with, with this, this distance at least. But now with Patrick, 
Uh, you, you cannot attack in midair with Patrick. So, that's a thing that sucks. Alright, let's go here. Um, there we go! And that puzzle sucked as a child. Mostly because I did not know about that secret leaf. And I don't think I knew about where that clam was before. What's that? What? It's not going to help me get up there though, is it? Oh, yeah it is. You say anything funny now, Mr. Krabs? Are you funny, well, Mr. Krabs? Sucks. Are you Next funny, time Mr. I Krabs? Need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab. I'll give you a call. Please Why don't. Why would the customers want to be made round? <laughs> <laughs> You're a strange one. Well, it's true. You are, Patrick. Doesn't make sense. Why? Why would they want to go and become round at a restaurant? Oh, we can go back this way too. I was like, oh, I have to make the entire way back this way, but no, we don't. So, it seems there's. I don't remember how to get this one. There is a freezy fruit here. Let's see what this does for me. Oh, you know what? We saw another freezy fruit over here. So maybe this has something to do with it. Ah, uh, there is a switch. All right, here we go. All right, so let's hit this. See what that does. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that opens that up. We have 25 seconds. Uh, we got two timers on the screen. We do. Oh my god, that's the best thing. Look at the waterfall. Look how freaking glitchy it is. You know what? Playing this game kind of reminds me of Pitfall Lost Expedition. At least this level, doesn't it? Just that jungle feel. It feels real. I've been, like, seriously looking at my uh, views lately. Most of my views come from my Let's or my um, uh, Pitfall Lost Expedition Let's Play still. Like, even. I looked at my views yesterday, and I got like 100 something views yesterday. 25 or so of those came from Pitfall Lost Expedition alone. But like, what? And like, Pitfall Lost Expedition still remains like my most viewed Let's Play to this day. Not only like that, but like daily viewed Let's Play as well. My new stuff? Pfft, no one will watch this! Oh, I thought I was gonna make that. Oh, if I would've jumped sooner, I probably would've made that. That just puts me back up here though. Is there anything else for us to do? Oh. Um, find all the lost campers, tiki round, oh, I haven't gotten that one yet, okay. Well, it seems we've done everything we need to, we have to go this way, though. But yeah, oh, really? And it's like, I've been wondering, why is Pitfall my most viewed Let's Play? I think it's because it's not a very popular game, but my Let's Play is one of the very few on YouTube. I think mine's actually the only complete, somewhat decent Let's Play, like, when I say decent, I don't mean, like, my commentary is amazing, but I meant like I've seen a few let's plays of that game that are um, just like video camera recorded, and mine was actually captured. I've been thinking about redoing that let's play, make it a bit more polished since like you know I do have a, the um, like I do have the majority of the people viewing that game. That's <laughs> exactly <gold> spatulas. <laughs> oh, you always have the exact same amount of spatulas as socks. We're only off by six. But I, I wouldn't take down the old Let's Play, but I'd probably just, like, um, name it Let's Play Pitfall Lost Expedition HD version or something like that. I don't know, it's a short enough game, so I wouldn't feel like it would be too bad. Plus, like, it was my first Let's Play ever, so it could be polished up a lot more. Oh, it, I do have a better... I do have a better capture card now, uh, so I think it can make it look uh, nicer. Hi. Um, I need, uh, SpongeBob's help if you see him. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Alright. Let's get Spongebob then. Thankfully there's a bus stop right here. Bus stop in the middle of a cave. I don't freaking know. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do hey multi- kid, uh, redo my let's help if play of time um, Pitfall eventually. Sure, Barnacle Boy. What do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems robots Whoa. have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do! Mm. If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, <gasps> would it? Just What's trust the point me, it's worth power power if you can't ever crystals. use it. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. You were bunions. I thought that had something to do with, like, your buns, well, you know, your you butt. I think that's to do with your foot. I'll get searching for these oh. crystals. Or bones? Okay, I don't, I don't freaking know. Okay, so oddly enough, do that as fudge, but I think the majority of this puzzle you actually do as Patrick. But this entire cave is one giant puzzle. Another thing that isn't too hard, but it's extremely time consuming. 
So I was gonna start this in this episode, but we're only like 15 minutes in, so actually maybe we should. You know what? I'll call us an episode here, because we're gonna only be able to do like half this puzzle. So it's a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, please do leave likes for having ready. My name is Chris, there's a giant freaking frog statue here. In the next episode, I'll talk more about Pitfall Expedition probably because I did not finish saying what I was gonna say. Actually I might as well finish saying that right now. I wish I could find a way to like figure out how to incorporate how my Pitfall Let's Play is still getting views. But my new Let's Plays aren't. So how the heck am I gonna be able to do that? I don't freaking know. What's different about my Pitfall? I mean I think that that Let's Play is awesome. But I mean my newer Let's Plays have better quality. I think the commentary is more fluent. I don't freaking know. Anyways, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe already. My name's Chris, and I shall talk to you guys later. Peace!